Don't know if you heard, but there's a Fantastic Four movie coming. We uh, recently got all the casting announcements for the main four uh, characters. A lot of people are still waiting with bated breath to find out, A, if there will be a Doctor Doom, and B, who will play that Doctor Doom, if indeed they are there. But another stalwart in uh, Fantastic Four comics, a name that a lot of people know, Silver Surfer, is apparently going to be in it. But there is more than one character in the comic books that has had the power cosmic and even carried the moniker Silver Surfer, and it's not the one that most people know. They've gone with a different Silver Surfer from the comics. Uh, this comes from The Hollywood Reporter. They wrote this. The Silver Surfer was introduced in Fantastic Four number 48 as the Herald of Galactus, a planet-eating entity, uh, though that version of the Silver Surfer was an alien astronomer no known as Norrin Rad. Garner, that's Julia Garner, is said to be playing a different Silver Surfer known as Shala Ball. Garner is a three-time three time. Three time. <laughs> Emmy, no, Emmy, not nominated, Emmy winner for playing Ruth Langmore on the Netflix series Ozark, a show I know Rob loves. She also earned another Emmy nomination for leading Inventing Anna, the series about real-life con artist Anna Delvey. Coming up, she has the Wolfman due out next year from Universal and Blumhouse. All right, so they went out and got themselves a... I'm going to say more calmly, a three-time Emmy winner. Three-time. A four-time Emmy-nominated four uh, actress <laughs> to go and play the role. Now, everybody knew what was coming. The conversation online <laughs> right now is not about, my God, they went and got themselves a three-time Emmy Award-winning actress. Mm -hmm. That's not the conversation. What is it, John? Yeah, what's, what's the, the conversation? conversation, John? Tell me. Boobs. Oh. And the fact that they're there. The conversation is, of course, well, wait a minute. Well, of course, you get a lot of people who, understandably, you get a lot of people who jump the gun and say, they're, they're, they're gender swapping. They're gender swapping. Uh, uh, Silver Surfer. Which, by the way, for the record, I wouldn't have an issue with that either. But a lot of people jump to the conclusion that they're, they're gender swapping Silver Surfer. Actually, they're not. Uh, Shala Ball is a character. All you got to do is go to the Marvel database, uh, and they describe that she is somebody. Now, she was a romantic love interest of the traditional Silver Surfer, who in certain stories was also granted the power cosmic. But in another iteration, they she was actually known as she had the moniker, according to the Marvel database, of Silver Surfer or whatever. So they're going with a, a, a Silver Surfer who is a comic book character directly from the comics. They're using this character in the movie. Now, that doesn't mean that the traditional Silver Surfer, Rad, won't be a part of the MCU somewhere or at some point. Right. Uh, it may very well be a part of the story. We may or may not know. Now, to anybody who, though, would say... The only way this can work is if you have the traditional Silver Surfer. I would, very in a very friendly way, remind my friends that they did do a Fantastic Four with the traditional Silver Surfer. Yeah. Did that make that movie good? Uh, define good. <laughs> define good. <laughs> they did one with the other Silver Surfer. Now, was it because they used the traditional Silver Surfer that that movie wasn't good? No, obviously not. I'm just saying to anybody who would say, the only way it can work is if it's that character from the comics instead of this character from the comics. I would say, well, they did do one with that character from the comics and it didn't work. Do I think they could do it again? Absolutely. Would I like to see them take another shot at that character? Absolutely. Nothing wrong with doing another character from the comics. I mean, I mean, listen, yes, this one is a more obscure character, but so was Star-Lord, and so was Groot, and, and so was Rocket. And, like, the average person had never even heard of these characters before. So, I, you would think, you would think that people would be more like, oh, okay, so they're not gender-swapping Rad. This is another character from the comics. This is a character from the comics. But no, that, that doesn't seem to be appeasing anybody oh. because yeah. there shouldn't be boobs. Uh, I, I mean, that, that's basically it. it. The bottom line is there's just a lot of people who don't want to see women get major roles. Now, that being said, there are going to be some people who are big, big, rad Silver Surfer fans that are just going to be disappointed that they're not getting that Silver Surfer from the comics. Totally understandable. Totally understandable. Like, if you were kind of hoping, like, some people were hoping to see Wolverine pop up in Deadpool 2 
And it didn't have and it didn't happen. Disappointed people. Totally understandable. There are big fans of Silver Surfer that were kind of hoping to see that rad Silver Surfer show up in this, and he's not disappointed. Total nothing wrong with that at all. Who, who's to say that Silver Surfer is not going to show up down the line? You know what I mean? Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, he very well could at some point. And you won't get his entrance because you didn't want to watch the first movie with the, the girl. <laughs> I mean, life is too short, man. If, if, I, I get if you don't want to watch a movie because of something that you don't like, but the, sometimes you're going to miss out on something fantastic. Ah, uh, ah, uh, <laughs> I see what you, you know, did there. You know, I, I hate pickles, right? I don't like pickles at all. But then one day someone said, hey, let's pick we got, your these, foot. we got these fried pickles. <laughs> it's different. You should try it. And I must say, they are less gross than regular pickles. So, but I still tried it. I mean, come come on. You just got to give things a shot. Sometimes. Here's 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 the problem. I've had many movies that I did not think would be good, but I did not decide wouldn't be good until I went and saw it and checked them out. I didn't think the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie was going to be good, right? <laughs> You're forced into that kind I, of... <laughs> I, I did not have faith in that film. I didn't. But I didn't force myself to say, I know it's bad, until I went and saw it for myself. And I ended up loving it. I had a really good time with it. Same thing with the Harley Quinn show. Now I love it. Same thing with Arcane. And now I love it. Look, it, it's cool to that there are people out there who are just going to feel like, oh, I was kind of hoping to see this character in the movie. Okay, we're not, at least in this movie. The question I would have for my fellow film fans is, are you now going to let the fact that there's an element of this movie that you were hoping was going to be there, but that's not going to be a part of it, now turn you off this movie? Or are you going to keep an open mind and go in and see what they do? Yeah. Now, the, the reality is there's already a lot of... You could already see it online. There's already a lot of people who have decided this sucks, who have decided that having a woman there is the end of the world. Uh, the, you've already seen that. Nothing you can do about those people. What I'm asking my fellow film fans is, are you going to be one of those? Or are you going to be... Because by the way, by the way, um, nobody reads Fantastic Four. <laughs> It's really not an important thing to 99% of the population. It's it's really not. Doesn't matter how much I wish it was. It's really not. I mean, that's we all know that, right? Like we we all understand right. that. But let's, so let's, we'll see. Let's be honest. The MCU, MCU hasn't been that great lately, and that just gets more. Nope, more has fuel, not more fuel to the fire when they announce these things. You know what I mean? There are people. There's some fans who are already unhappy. Let's let's just face it. You know, with what's going on. They announce something like that, they'll, they'll, they'll find something in that to, you know, not like either. Well, I mean, yeah, look, there's, there's, you get to the point because, listen, as I've talked about in the show so many times, regardless of whether you're a big MCU fan or a big MCU hater, we can all agree that since Endgame, Marvel has not been firing in all cylinders, right? Doesn't matter how much you, you love Marvel or how much you hate Marvel. I think we can all agree with that statement. Marvel, last couple of years, has not been firing on all cylinders. We can all at least agree on that. Guys, we want to take a moment to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by overpriced wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I heard that for a limited time, all Mint Mobile wireless plans are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan, I thought, what's the catch? But after talking to them, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they sell wireless services on Online. They cut out the cost of retail stores and pass those sweet savings on to you. And guys, you know, ever since I switched over to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than one third on my wireless bills than I used to with one of the major carriers. So say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills and unexpected overages. All plans come with high-speed data and unlimited talk and text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes on unlimited plan. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions may apply. See Mint Mobile for details.
my personal opinion is a little more negative than that. They've had a couple of things that are great, a right. couple of things that are fantastic. But overall, their quality level has decreased significantly. But, uh, again, my whole thing is, now that Kevin Feige actually has his power back, let's see what happens. They went for an unconventional character choice from the comics, but it is a character from the comics. And we'll see if it works. And, and, and imagine if they introduced her like they did in that presentation where Chadwick Boseman came out. During that time, that era of Marvel, everyone would be like, woo! Yeah, you know, like, aren't you Silver Surfer? Yeah. Them doing that right now, it wouldn't be the same. People oh, no, like, no, it'd be, no, it'd be, be like, a totally mm. different thing. But again, I, I would just say, to, I would remind my fellow film fans, they did do a Fantastic Four movie right. with the traditional Silver Surfer, and that didn't save it. No more than them not using the traditional Silver Surfer is going to do anything negative. This movie's going to be good or bad based on whether it's good or bad. <laughs> yeah. This movie is not going to be good or bad whether they used the ball version of Silver Surfer or the rad version of Silver right. Surfer. That's not going to be the determining factor whether this movie is good or bad. Because if this movie's bad, if this is badly written, let's say like Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. If this movie is badly written and badly developed and badly executed like Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, having a, a new silver, this ball from the comics isn't going to save the movie. Mm -hmm. But newsflash, if it had been the rad version of the Silver Surfer, that wasn't going to save the movie either. So if it's going to be bad, it's going to be bad. And if it's going to be good, it's going to be good. So, you know, I just think everybody needs to take a deep breath and oh. actually judge the movie on its own merits. Not about what you wanted it to be, not about what I thought it would be. Just calm down, watch the movie, and then judge it on its own merits. In terms of the actual film itself, is this, did we just get cast the villain of the film or? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because like in the, at least the iterations that I'm aware of, the ball silver surfer was, because because there are iterations of the comics where like, uh, Silver Surfer as an adversary to the Fantastic right. Four and others. Ball was always a heroic, to the oh, best of my okay. knowledge of the story. I know such, nothing of this. Yeah, the ones that right. I'm aware of, uh -huh. in both instances, she's a heroic okay. figure, right? Okay. So I don't think, I don't think she's going to be the antagonist. So we got one more announcement coming. Then. At least. We got one more announcement. At least. So, right. I mean, unless it's like a Superman versus Godzilla um Situ Superman versus Godzilla. <laughs> Superman versus Batman situation. Right. Where it's like, okay, they're both heroes, but they're adversarial yeah. against each other. They might go that route. I don't think they will. I think we've got... Now, I, that doesn't necessarily mean I think they're, we're about to see Galactus either. But maybe it's a Doom. Maybe it is an introduction of Galactus. I, I don't know. There's still so much that's unknown yeah, and on the yeah. table. It's yep. going to be Galactius and it's his <laughs> sister. But all I know is this. you got a <laughs> fabulous director directing this thing great writers writing it a tremendous cast so far oh. and whether this was the character you wanted to see in the movie or not they just got a three-time yeah. emmy award winner three to times. play the role no come I on mean, if you're a real movie fan you gotta go okay well that's good yeah. i mean so yeah you're just you're adding talent and and again people are like well i'd rather have seen this person but we don't know the story for all we know we've hypothesized there's a time jump yeah and so I, I, not that like 40, 50, 60 years is anything to the Silver Surfer, but where they run into now this Silver Surfer, that's, you know, if, if there is a time jump, that would make sense, you know? I mean, yeah, so, so we don't look, know a lot of possibilities. And I, I would just say this, look, I am not saying there's no reason to feel skeptical. Oh, there's... <laughs> Marvel, let's face it, Marvel has given us many reasons the last couple of years to be skeptical of what they're going to do. Nothing wrong with being skeptical perfectly healthy f feeling having a little bit of skepticism about what's coming up and stuff like that and saying all right but skepticism shouldn't close your mind right and so you know let's see i mean they're adding great talent great director great writers so let's see what turns out and now this is going to be a character that most people aren't familiar with that's fine we'll just see uh, how well it works question is for you guys what do you think about this. We've now got a new character for, for the Fantastic Four movie, Shala Ball, uh, a little known character from the comics who also has the moniker The Silver Surfer. But they got a three time Emmy winner to play. How do you feel about it? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below 
and leave your thoughts there. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.